I found this Xbox One X on Facebook Marketplace and it was a faulty console listed for parts pretty much because the owner said it had an E102 error, E105 error, uh, 101, and 206. And so I traded them actually my working Xbox for it. I was intrigued and I wanted to take on the challenge. And so I thought it was a pretty good deal. It came in the box. It looked like it was in pretty good shape. And so I wanted to put it to the test and see if I can get it working again. So the console booted up when I first plugged it in, which is nice. And it actually went all the way to the home screen. The issue though happened after that when I decided to factory reset it just to know I was getting a fresh install and that was where I got hit with the 105 error. After that it was the 102, then the 206 and it kind of just looped between the three and did some research and was directed to do an offline update but that got me a 101 error and thanks to XFIX I learned that the 101 error is because I was using an older uh, offline installation file. And so I found the latest OSU1 file, created a USB offline installation, and th that was all thanks to XFIX. He has some great instructions on his channel, and that worked. It got me the latest update, and it appeared the console was booting up, so I was pretty excited, but unfortunately this only lasted about two days. The E102 and 105 error started looping again after I turned off the instant on feature. So I'm not sure if that triggered it or what, but the next time I powered the console on, it went through that loop. So I decided to tear it down, clean up any dust or debris that I might find on the inside, check for any um, connections that might have been loose, and everything looked okay. It was just a little dirty. So I decided to repartition the hard drive. I followed XFIX's instructions, and that unfortunately didn't work either. So XFIX had told me on YouTube that it might benefit from replacing the thermal paste along with the solid state drive because this particular model, it's a late 2017 Xbox One X, they're prone to overheating. So that's exactly what I did. I picked up this one terabyte solid state drive from Crucial along with the MX4 thermal compound from Arctic. So I want to go through the steps to tear down the console again. This time I'm going to replace the thermal paste and upgrade the hard drive to this solid state drive and so if you're interested in seeing the tear down steps I tried to include as much as I can sit back and relax and enjoy tear down of the Xbox One X and stay tuned for the results
So I ran into some corrosion underneath the motherboard and I don't know if that's water damage or from the excess heat or how that could have came about but I, I learned from Natalie over at Rainbow Repair that you could use vinegar to remove the corrosion off the motherboard. I only thought you could use that on battery terminals so this was a good tip to pick up in the process and so thanks Natalie for that information and if you don't know about Natalie's channel you should go check out Rainbow Repair on YouTube or you can find her I believe it's Natalie Marie she does some excellent repairs and tear downs of consoles and so some things to note though is after you use the toothbrush with vinegar here make sure to clean up any excess with uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol and so I just put a little bit on a q-tip here and cleaned it all up and it worked pretty well so thanks again Natalie for that tip and be sure to check out a link to her channel below Here's the APU after cleaning it up with some rubbing alcohol and Q-tips. After that I moved on to applying the thermal paste and the best information I could find recommended that you use like a pea-sized drop of the paste here. And so that's what I went with and after that you put the heat sink back on it and it should spread it evenly on the chip there. So if I used too little or made mistakes along the way, make sure to send me some feedback in the comments below. I'd be glad to make any corrections that I need to. Alright, so that thermal paste was bone dry. I'm glad to have been able to replace that. And now the last step here is uh, swapping out the hard drive for the solid state drive. But you can't just put in any hard drive and expect it to work. There's uh, partitions that you have to have added and Xfix outlines all of this on his channel and provides scripts and steps for you to be able to do this yourself. However, he also has a service through his eBay store where you could purchase it there. You could either ship him your console or your hard drive and he'll be able to do these things for you. So I suggest you check out the channel there if you have any Xbox One issues. He's probably covered something on it. So uh, be sure to check out the links below to Xfix in the meantime. I'm just going to go through the process here and repartition this uh, hard drive myself and then you go run the script create an offline install USB all that went smoothly on my computer then I went over and powered on the console and ran into a 102 error at first but then everything went smoothly after that so I'll keep an eye on things if I have any issues along the way another Xbox capable of surviving hell I feel it's fitting to go back to hell and break this console in with some good old doom. Appreciate Xfix for all the resources that you provided because I wouldn't have been able to do this without it. 
along with uh, the tips provided by Natalie at Rainbow Repair. So thanks again to both of you. Pre be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you very much for following along. Have a great day.